Every year, no matter if we're in the lectionary cycle of A, B, or C, every year, the fourth Sunday in the Easter season is known as Good Shepherd Sunday. And we read these narratives as Jesus identifies himself as the Good Shepherd who is caring for his flock, his sheep. And so we are being joined this week by the St. John's unofficial mascots. Our sheep are here to help us celebrate Easter 4. It's a very tender thing that Jesus identifies himself as a good shepherd and that we read these well into the Easter season as we are starting to prepare for Christ, to read the, the passage of Christ's ascension and then uh, Christ being away from the early church in bodily form, but then passing on the Holy Spirit. As if to say, even though I am departing from you in person, I will always watch after you like a shepherd. So it's a very tender time for us to have these readings. And of course, both the New Testament and the First Testament are replete with images of shepherds. They appear in Isaiah and of course, very beautifully and memorably in Psalm 23. The idea of a shepherd and identifying God or Jesus as the shepherd happens over and over again in the scriptures. So, as you can imagine, both in the morning at our Holy Eucharist and in the afternoon at Evensong, we will have lots of sheep running around in every prayer, every reading, and every hymn. We will be singing Psalm 23 twice, both times set as Anglican chant. In the morning, we will be singing one of the pieces that gets the most positive comments of anything that the choir sings, and that's the setting of Psalm 23 as Anglican chant, as it was done by Bobby McFerrin. And one of the things that is most memorable about this, other than Bobby Har McFerrin's lush harmonies, is his use of feminine imagery, um, talking about she makes me lie down uh, beside, in green meadows beside the still waters she will lead. And for some context, this came at the end of a workshop that Bobby McFerrin participated in and helped lead, but they were looking at new ways of expressing spiritual concepts. And at the time, Bobby McFerrin's mother had just passed away, and he was thinking about ideas of God and ideas of how we interact with God and how his own mother, who had looked after him so much in his life, and he was so grateful for the life of his mother, and now that she was reunited with God in heaven. And it was through that process that he came to cast Psalm 23 with that feminist imagery. And then again, like I say, the psalm tone itself is one of really unearthly beauty. So we will sing that as the psalm on Sunday morning. And then at Evensong on Sunday afternoon, we will be singing Psalm 23 with the more, much more traditional Coverdale text or the, the text that we're familiar with from the 1928 prayer book, kind of that right one text. And this is a setting that's also very frequently matched, a, a setting of musical setting that is very frequently matched with these words by the 20th century composer Hilton Stewart. equally beautiful on musical terms, and yet has a little bit of a different flavor to it. Both are unaccompanied, uh, both psalm tones are intended to be sung by the choir a cappella, um, and really have a way of expressing these very familiar and beloved words of the psalm. As I say, we will be singing lots of anthems and, and hymns that talk about uh, the shepherd, and uh, among those at the sequence, we'll be singing, this is a little fun fact of trivia, one of John Ross's very favorite hymns, one of the things that he hopes will be sung hopefully many years in the future at his uh, memorial service, a, a piece that he feels like really sums up his spiritual journey. And that's the, the hymn tune, the American folk tune, Resignation, matched with the words, my shepherd will supply my needs.
And we have anthems by John Rutter and Orlando de Lasso, as well as the contemporary composer Grayston Ives. We have so much wonderful music. We hope that you will join us this weekend as we celebrate Good Shepherd Sunday with our service at 8 a.m., 10.30 with choir, and then back again for Evensong at 4.45 in the afternoon. This 10.30 service and Evensong both, of course, also stream to our YouTube channel. We hope that you will join us either in person or through YouTube as we worship and as we remember the Good Shepherd.